Welcome to Doctoring You, a place for better health through higher understanding. This Doctoring You presentation will share insights on the immigration experience and life challenges. Join Dr. Michael Sue and guest Betty Huey in part one of an informative discussion related to the immigration experience and how she dealt with life challenges. And now, Dr. Michael Sue. We have here Betty, who uh, uh, has been in this country since the age of 35, and she just turned 80, and uh, she doesn't look uh, a day older than 55. So uh, we welcome her. She brought her family along when they were very young from Hong Kong, and uh, they work uh, and train as a, a nurse, uh, as well as uh, the husband being a, a help uh, and assistant for neurosurgery uh, down in Texas. Anyway, so they are now in the Bay Area and uh, have lived through uh, bringing through the kids from a very young age to currently uh, fully uh, employed and successful in their own uh, uh, own rights. So I would like her to share with us uh, from the beginning as to how her life was like uh, and go through it uh, section by section at a time. Well, Betty, so tell us a little bit about your fir first experience and impression when you came to this country. Uh, and reestablishing, and you had to go through the whole training yes, program right. starting from scratch, but yet your kids were what age? Uh, five and four and uh, two and a half. And two boys and a girl. That's right. And uh, at that age, obviously, they demand the best uh, out of you and your husband. That's true. So my husband and me were opposite shift. I work night. During the daytime, I take care of them. I also go to sleep and go to school. Mm. And my husband work daytime and nighttime he has to, you know, take care of the key and cook. Mm. So really a division of labor is yes. a must. Yes. So in many ways you have to sacrifice that, you know, both of you li literally is a, one sleep, one's up and alternate. Yeah. And but your kids came out very successful. And that that has to be, you know, uh, something to reckon with because uh, not everybody can uh, take care of work and kids mm -hmm. and have them grow up to uh, success. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm blessed and uh, I'm lucky. <laughs> mm. Well, the fact is, you know, it shows in you that uh, the fact is you're still very useful, you know. Mm -hmm. For somebody who's 80, I, I would say you're a very young 80. And to me, it's not only genetics, it has to be the way of life, the way you see life and how you carry through. Because, yeah. you know, if it's been very stressful, uh, most people after stress, they look older. Yeah. And I would say that you came out okay. Uh, if not, yeah. <laughs> so so yeah. how, would you, how would you say, uh, if you were to give people some advice uh, who came through the same way you did, what would you advise them to do? I would advise them to be patient and be courageous. And I feel, you know, all this hard work I have done, I feel like it's my job. Do it, go for it. Mm -hmm. There's no regret about it, so. Okay. Now, you obviously, at that time, it was a little bit of a turmoil politically in Hong Kong in the 60s. Mm -hmm. So that uh, you here for a specific reason. What were your aim for your kids? I feel like they can get better education here and freedom and safe. At that time in Hong Kong, was really unsafe, uncertain, so we don't know what it's going to be like. Mm -hmm. So that's why we came over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So time went on and uh, you worked and put in a lot of years. Yes. So how many years have you worked so far? Mm. And what, what year did you retire? I retired at 75. Uh, when I start working, that was start back from Hong Kong. I was about 22. Wow, that's a, a lot of work, a lot of hours. Mm -hmm. 22. But you manage. Yeah. Very good. Now, I, I think for the audience, this is what I call impressive. Uh, for somebody to undergo that many uh, years of training and work and, and manage to break, bring, uh, bring up two sons and, and a daughter. And, uh, of course, the uh, second half of this, we, we'd like to talk a little bit about her late husband, and uh, what happened at that time. Mm -hmm. 